short circuit evaluation. Short circuit evaluation happens when conditionals use and or or. It means that the second argument is evaluated only if the first argument is not enough to determine the value of the expression. When the first argument of the AND function evaluates to false, the overall value must be false, so it doesn't have to evaluate the second argument. When the first argument of the OR function evaluates to true, the overall value must be true, so it doesn't evaluate the second argument. For instance, So it evaluated the first one, floor is more than five, but it didn't even evaluate the second one. Once it found out that this was false, it didn't need to even evaluate the, the second part of the conditional. So that's short circuit evaluation. It just skips that part completely. You can actually use this for some interesting things in JavaScript. For instance, let me set something up for you. I pasted this code in here. So we're going to set test to true, and then we're going to create a function, is true, function console.log, this is true var is false is the function console.log this is false. So it says if test is true. Well, well test is true so it's going to run that function. So if test is true it runs the function. So if we run that, yep, it's going to say test is true. But there's a way, this is the slow way to do it or the, the more wordy way to do it. With short circuit evaluation there's actually a, a better way to do it that's a, a, little, a little better. Let me show you. So in this short circuit evaluation we just put test and and is true. So if this is true, it's going to run the, the next one. If the first argument is true, it automatically goes to the next argument, which can be a function. So if test is not true, it won't run this function. So let me comment this out. I'm going to run that again. But it's still going to say this is true in the console because of this. So we, we made this whole if statement into one line without even using the word if just because of short circuit evaluation. Let me show you how you would do that with the or operator. Okay, here's the code I just put in here. Test equals false. If not test, if test is false, then run is false. So if we run that, we can see up at the bottom it says test is false. However, the short circuit way of doing it is like this. You're going to put test or is false. So if this is true, it's not even going to bother going to this because it's the or operator and we're testing this or this. But if this is false, then it is going to go to the function over here. So if we run that, and you can see test is false, test is false. It had the first test is false from here, and then the second test is false from there. Okay, another way that short circuit evaluation can be used is to set a default value for a function argument. Look at this function. Function, the same old foo, and you're going to put in a name here. So the name is going to equal name, or the name is going to equal bar. That basically means if you don't pass in a name, there won't be anything to assign to name, so this will, e this will be false. And if this is false, it's going to go to the next argument, which is bar. If it's true, it's going to assign that to name. So by putting or, the two lines like that, which means or, and putting bar here, you're setting a default value. So let's run that and see what happens. And you can see uh, my best friend's name is bar, my best friend's name is bow. So first it used the default, and then it uses what we assigned, assigned here. So those are just a few things that you can do with short circuit evaluation. Thanks for watching JS Nuggets. My name is Bo Carnes. Check the description for links to more information and the code used in this video. Please subscribe and remember, use your code for good.